Hello, my name is Paul Buisman, and in this video I will explain the basic concept of iMOBA. And in order to do so, I suggest we go to our corporate website moba.net. Once you get there, you will find a products section in the menu, and while going down, you will find a chapter on iMOBA. If you go down a little bit, you will encounter a graphic. This graphic, which is also a link to a video that is pretty much self-explaining, is for me also a great tool to inform you about the structure of iMOBA. It all starts in the packing station. Here there's MOBA equipment and that is generating an awful lot of data. Traditionally, everybody who wants to know something on the, the performance of the grader or the performance of the team or uh, the quality of the eggs is in need of going to the packing station itself, look to the screens and uh, review countings and results. Maybe you have already somebody typing the results into an Excel file or into a database for the management people to review. That's not so convenient, it's not real time, and also all the modern tooling that you would have in your phone or your computer or a tablet um, are useless. And that's the whole idea of iMOBA, make more easy access uh, to all the necessary information. The idea is that the MOBA equipment will upload its data into a cloud environment. This is a private cloud, that means all sensitive data is encrypted and the decryption key is only in your possession. So whoever you grant access to the data can see it and nobody else. Um, sensitive data is for instance the names of your suppliers, uh, the names of your product, the names of supermarkets. In, in short you could say the origin and the destination of all eggs is totally private for your eyes only. There are some service statistics, however, that are made available to MOBA, to us, and we use them for two purposes. At one side, we learn uh, from the day-to-day -day behavior of the equipment. That means uh, we can use that as an information source for improving our products and our services, which in the end you will benefit as well. At the same time, we produce a data set that is used for benchmarking. And that's also very powerful for yourself because uh, this is a sort of radar where you can see how you are comparing uh, your results to anonymous statistics. And that's again on its turn very useful to find room for improvement. Now there's different roles in a packing station. You might be the manager or you are the, the operator or um, maybe uh, the director. And all roles in such a packing stations have different needs. For that reason, uh, we don't have one uniform software uh, platform, but multiple modules to which you can subscribe. Um, that means that in the future, we have now currently two model modules available, in the future three, um, that will expand over time. So the data suite will get richer and richer with more tools for you. To give a peak preview how such a module looks like, we will switch now to an operational environment of the iMOBA Performance Pro module, that is this module. Um, and that gives basically a very straightforward view on the results of one machine. And in this case, it is this machine here, a demonstration machine. And as you can see, uh, there's information about X availability, in short, machine-related information and quality-related information. We will explain much more about this module uh, in uh, another video, but it's important to know that here in your environment, and this is now on the computer, but it might be your iPhone or your uh, Android tablet, you can switch to different modules and you can also switch to different machines. I hope this video was useful. Keep an eye on this channel because this is the first video of a whole series about this topic. And of course, thank you for watching.